Hi there, welcome back to the new video and in this ClickSense tutorial video, we will going to look at the ClickSense row function and this function is available in both script as well as chart. So as per the definition of this function, uh, that this function returns an integer from the number of currently, uh, for the number of the currently row in the resulting ClickSense internal table. So it's basically give each row a number based on the uh, how current row is resulting from the internal table and if you've seen my previous video where we have looked at the record number so the main difference between record number and row number is that uh, record number which counts the records in raw data table the row number function does not count records that are excluded by where clause so that's basically the major difference that row number function does not count records that are excluded by where clause and is not reset when the raw table is uh, concatenated to another. So that's the main difference between record number and row number. Uh, if let's say it is coming in an interview, many times it has come. So you need to know what is the difference. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, and see how we can implement this. So we'll go to data and if you see earlier we have uh, done the record number. Uh, we have taken the record number as a function but I just told you what is the difference. However, uh, because this is a very very simple scenario for the purpose of tutorial, you will not see much of a difference. But uh, whenever you use the where clause or do the concatenation of tables, things like that, you will start seeing the difference. So I will simply say row number and save and load. So that's basically how you will going to apply it. And over here in the table, you can simply start adding the serial number. So you have row number and then you have uh, month and then you have uh, sales and so on and so forth. So you know how to add all of these things. I don't need to explain this to you. So what I basically want you to do now is uh, in both the condition, you know, try implementing the where clause, the previous video where I have added you, uh, I have given you and published. And in this video, uh, you just add the where clause uh, over here or maybe you're in your own data where you have a little bit uh, more data. And then try seeing it the difference between the two values and uh, that way you when you will explain it to someone it will be much more easier to you so that's about how you can implement and what is the difference between the row number and record number and now i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic